And we're back. Sorry, I had to do some tweeting and Instagramming and Facebooking to talk about Artline Fontainebleau Horse <laughs> because... Wow. Right. Still drinking my coffee. Still Saturday morning. We're still talking about Artline Holds. Here's a quick refresher because here's the start of the walkthrough. Now, you may ask yourself, what's the best thing to do on a Saturday morning? A cup of coffee, video camera, and some walkthroughs for me. Um, we're talking about a set of holds that um, come from France. Actually, we're talking about a lot of holds that come from France. I'm going to have to break this walkthrough up into... Uh, one, two, three, four, five different parts because there's three sets and a bunch of, oh, actually no, six, um, four sets of holds and two big monster holds to talk about. We are talking about Artline holds, Tonk from France, uh, a guy called Bryce, and I'm going to get his last name wrong, Anziuti, or Anziuti, owns the company, and he's doing something a little bit special. He used to work at Vox, um, if you know those guys, and basically he's gone out on his own and he's started making climbing holds for himself. Uh, you're going, oh, Jeremy, a company from France, that's going to be a pain in the ass to get hold of. It's not, because Patink, these guys, Holtopia, or as they're otherwise known, Wartopia, same company runs it. Um, Wartopia brings walls in from Europe and when they've got containers what they do is they fill them up with climbing holds from Europe. They don't stock all the brands from Europe, you know, they stock holds, uh, Artline and a bunch of other stuff, but they bring them across. They end up in BC and you don't have to pay shipping. Well you do from BC to wherever you're shipping from, but you don't have to, you know, the prices are a little bit different from the European prices. All these are in Euros by the way, um, because I ripped all the prices off the website today. I don't have a price list from uh, Holtopia for these holds, so I'm very sorry about that. And we're back, nice one, see? So there's all the information here about Ireland holds. Next, we're going to go with, and this is not traffic yellow, I do like traffic yellow, this is frozen yellow, really quite bright, I'm not entirely sure how the white balance is going to work for these guys, these guys are, oh, this is a big old set of holds, 20 holds, these are the stone line PU jugs 20 in colour number 14, fluoro yellow. Uh, I wrote down some information here somewhere. Ah, these are 9,101 grams, 90 degrees max, which makes no sense because they're jugs. So are they saying 90 or 90? I guess they're saying 90. Um, and they're 125 euros for 20 holds. That's actually a pretty good price. Considering they're not actually really small holds. These, what size are they? They said they what size are these? They're jugs. It doesn't say what size they are. Who cares? We've got 20 of them, so this is going to take a bit of a while. Um, they're really frozen yellow. It probably looks a little bit green on the camera, but these are really bright holds. And they are the juggy, like, the juggy, juggy, jug, jug, jug. They're like jugs. Like, jugs. Like, look, look at this. They look like chicken heads, which is a different set from a different company, but they do look like chicken heads. Absolutely super comfortable to hold on to like this is like hey we need we got a bunch of kids coming in or a beginners class we need some jugs twink done there you go 20 of these job done you can preset two roots no worries like world's biggest foothold these things are so in cut it's like i'm wrapping my thumb around and i'm still nowhere near if the wall is here i'm still nowhere near it there's clearance from the wall super smooth oh different quality assurance guy number 384 watching you as well. These were made in 2013 on 11-11. 2013. So that's number one. We've got 20 of these guys to go through, so we'll try and we'll try and burn through pretty quick. Number two, hoink, like, look at the clearance. 
Look at look at where the clearance is. You're not going to scuff your knuckles on these guys, even if you're launching around a little bit. Undercuts, perfect. Even if you get them up the wrong way and you're not using the jug part, these things have got so many little dimples and stuff in them. Like, just great. I would complain about the set screw hole here when I've got it up the wrong way, but most people are going to have them this way or this way. They're not going to have it. But look at this guy. Like, they're all very, very similar. Wow, it looks, in the monitor when I'm watching this, it looks like they're like glowing. Ow, just smashed my elbow. Uh, number three, little Artline logo. They look like a um, sandstone, to be honest. Like, from down in the red. Massive. Again, this, you know, this guy's bonk. Look at the clearance. Like, wrap your thumb over the top and you're still not touching. It's like, these things are huge. You could get a match of this guy. It's really nice. These are like full one-hand jugs. Like, this guy's got a bit of a double. Um, like, big, round, smooth. Like, they look like they're going to be a little bit uncomfortable, but they're not. They're actually really nice. And, like, you just get in and, like, bang, get on this guy. Look, check it out. We'll just run through a few of these, not all of them. Like, ridiculous. Look at the ink on this thing. It's absolutely monstrous. It's, like, so big. It's crazy. Number five is... Number five is alive. Number three or four. Uh, yeah. Clearance from wall. Uh, yeah, seriously. Like, all of them have got set screw holes on them. All of them have got this, like, put any bolt you want into it system, which I like. Because it means as a setter, you don't have to go, oh, I have to go find a cap head for this one. It's just go, bam, whatever, stick a bolt in it, who cares? Like, just absolutely, like, monster-sized jugs. Like, these are so kid-friendly, it's ridiculous. Like, bang, on, get your thumb around. Like, these are full wrap your thumb around jugs, which, you know, most of them are like, oh, here's a jug, and you've got your hand in it, and you like, maybe get your thumb over the top. Most of these holes so far, I've been able to wrap my thumb around. For someone learning to climb, or a kid that doesn't know how to grip properly, it's brilliant. I love them. Super nice holes. Great color. Um, I'll be interesting. Frozen colors sometimes get a bit, a bit dull over time. I'm wondering how, when we wash these, they're actually going to... How they're gonna come out? Sanding, flat and beautiful. Bang! Like most of these, most of these are like two hand. Like this guy has this beautiful little scoop in him here. So you like you could you could like get like oh I need to match and like there's little sneaky matches all over these guys. Even up the wrong way, there's a nice little shelf where the bolt hole is and you get your thumb underneath. Like you know, despite the fact that they look like a bit random and someone's just gone ah just shaped. They're actually pretty well thought out, and I think Bryce has actually gone through and looked at these holes and played with them a lot. Kept them all very, like, wall clearance. Look at the wall clearance. Oh, my God, you can almost hill hook on this guy. Um, always got a little Artline logo. Like, you know, the set screw's, like, right underneath, you know. But it's like, bang, go, bang, go. Like, even, even up this way on this guy. Let's, let's give this guy a quick quick run around you know it's pretty damn bomb proof my camera's running out of battery so I have to change it stay there realistically I should have just plugged it in don't uh, I don't even know what number I was up to so let's go through the rest of the holes this guy, honk, oh, super in cut, like, man, I'm in, like, straight into it, ridiculous, even even up the other way, there's a really nice pinch on this guy as well, like, beautiful placements, like, these are very well thought out jokes, this guy is absolutely huge, this is like, get on it and really get on it, you can see, as I'm holding this way, it's nice, like, but like, if you get over it, this one's actually the most, I guess, awkward so far, because grabbing, Around it's a little bit awkward, but like grabbing here is nice, but you could get a sec second on it, even up, even up the wrong way. There's so many nice little dimples you can just grab and like, my thumb, my fingers, are, my little pinky and ring finger going in here. It's like, super well designed. This guy, hoink, look at that. Like just, boop, massive, like full handers. Even when it's up this way, you've still got a nice little scoop for your fingers. Oh, we're getting through. This guy is just double hand-tastic. Like, huge. Wall clearance. Look at this. Ridiculous amount of wall clearance. Up the wrong way. Just get on this bit here. Just hoink, done. You know, one pad away you go. Stick your thumb underneath and go. These are really, really 
Again, nicely designed holes. We got through, we got one, two, three, three, four, five, six. We've got another eight to go. Look at this. Bang. Over. Side pull. In. Get your thumb on it. Upside down. Yeah, not going to be so good, but the undercut, you can get a double hand undercut on that guy. Super nice. These are oh, chicken head. Massive wall clearance. Like, like I'm, I'm repeating myself, like really nice, like beautiful. If you've got it sideways pinch, you can actually get a little little edge on here. So like good double hander. Up the wrong way, like you're splitting your fingers, get your thumb underneath and really go. These are really going to be multi-use holds. Like I'm going to set a big old traverse with these guys because it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Bang on, thumb, upside down, like this edge, this is beautiful, like these holds are really well designed, these jugs, five more to go, this guy is just absolutely bat monstrous, like, <laughs> like you could actually heel hook on this guy, absolutely huge, huge jug, but actually in a very small, tight package, they're actually super nice and really, really well done, last four, this guy, Full hand, you know, I, I'm repeating myself. Again and again. Last two, or actually last three. In, big thumb catch, really nice. This guy, beautiful little edge here, and a pinch, you know. If you lost, if you actually lost the bottom of this, this would actually be a really nice hold in itself without the jug. This guy is like over jug. It's like, like this is like the uber jug. Ooh, a little bit of bump from the um, mold there, where it's come out a bit funny. Like over jug, upside down, massive ledge here, like awesome. And the last one, which is funny, again, I haven't done this on purpose. The last hold is this guy, big old jug here, just running around quick, like, but double jug. You're talking like pinchy match, like whichever way you want on it, you've got a bit of a weird pinch match here, little rail on here, you just pinch like, Ooh, get on it and just go. So these are the jugs, the stone line jugs, 20 of them, pretty damn good, like multi-use. These are like ceiling haulers all day, every day, just run laps on them. Texture's great, feels like the red, feels a bit limestone-y, bit, you know, between limestone and sandstone. The grip on these guys, the texture's really nice, just good thin, good looking holds. I'm really looking forward to going to the gym, I'm going to have some lunch, finish my coffee, go to the gym, work my ass off for the next 12 hours setting, and then we'll see how we'll go and we'll film them. Hope you enjoy the uh, review, don't forget to read the text, add comments, you know, whatever. Um, we'll see you again very, very soon.